Good morning, good morning my smart students. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's math class and today we are going to continue the lesson uh, that we have started before about time to the hour. In the previous lesson we have learned how to tell time to the hour and also I told you that time is very important and you need to learn uh, how to tell the time because time will help you to organize everything in your life so before starting the lesson I want you to um, everyone to read the day and date so today is Wednesday and the date is May 6 2020 everyone I want you to get also your math book because we're gonna use it today so let's start the lesson I want you to put your hands in the air and clap your hands two times and say it's math class. So let's do it. One, two, it's math class. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to tell and write time to the nearest hour. Okay, everyone, as you can see, um, there are two types of clocks, one of them analog clock and the other one is the digital clock an analog clock has an hour and a minute hand as you can see two hands one of them short and the short uh, you know points to the hour and the long one points to the minutes so remember the hour hand points to the hour on an analog, an analog clock sorry and the minute hand, as I said to you so far, it points to the uh, minutes. The digital clock, okay, uses only numbers. So you can see only uh, numbers on the screen. Okay, as you can see over here. Here's the hour and here's the, the minutes. So everyone, here are two videos about time to the hour. Watch the videos and come back. You can find the videos in the description below. So here is the problem. Let's read it together. Colin gets home at 3 o'clock. Evan gets home one hour later. What time does Evan get home? So here are some steps to follow, which is to understand, plan, and solve. So everyone, let's change the name into Amna. So Amna gets home at 3 o'clock, okay? At 3 o'clock. And Nura gets home one hour later. So one hour later. So what time does... Uh, Nura gets home so one hour later so what number comes after three four four so the answer is four o'clock here everyone I want you to open your math book page 596 here basketball practice starts at four o'clock mark eats a snack two hours before practice. What time does Mark eat his snack? Okay, uh, so what we are going to do is to draw okay, the analog clock. Okay, everyone. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this is the analog clock, everyone. So, basketball practice starts at four. Starts at four. Okay, four o'clock. And Mark eats a snack two hours before, so you need to go two hours back. 
so go two hours back so what time is it now two two o'clock and here we go uh, it's four hours before 12 o'clock what time is it if it's exactly on the hour show the time on the clock so here number 12 okay so it's four hours before 12 o'clock so we need to go back okay four hours so one two three four we are gonna go back four hours so the time will be everyone eight so the time is eight the short hand will point to number eight and the long hand will point to number 12. Now everyone move to page 595. Please write the day and date. Okay, you need to tell the time. So what you're going to do is to look at the analog clock and write the time. Okay, as you can see, here is a analog. Here's the analog clock and here's the digital clock. So let's go to the first one. What time is it? It's one. Okay, one o'clock. And here it's, look at the short, you need to look at the short hand first. So it's eight o'clock. Here it's 12 not writing well so it's 12 o'clock so here 8 and here 12 okay so what you are going to do here is to draw the um, two hands okay remember there are two hands one of them uh, short and one of them long the short one is for the hours and the long one is for the minutes so draw the hands on the clock write the time so if we want to show five o'clock the short one will point to five and the long one to 12. so five clock here 10 o'clock so the short one point to 10 and the long one to 12. Here it means zero minutes, okay, everyone, zero minutes. When the long hand points to number 12, it means zero minutes. Two zeros, zero minutes. And finally, three o'clock, the short one points to three and the long one to 12. Uh-oh, not writing well. Stuck. Okay, so it's, anyway, it's three o'clock. So everyone, uh, click on the following link to play the game about time to the hour. Um, thank you for listening and have a great day.